everyone, my name is Sari and you are watching my YouTube channel and my knitting podcast videos. Um, usually when I record a new video, I talk about what I've been knitting, what I've been making, what I've been doing whatsoever. But that's not what I'm doing today. Today's uh, episode is about the Poet Knit Along that I'm hosting. Uh, this is the first time ever I'm hosting um, a knit along and I'm not kind of the type of person who really like... I don't, I don't partake in many knits along, knit alongs. Um, so this is quite new for me in that sense as well. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, Poet is uh, my most popular knitwear uh, pattern. Uh, it's this one that I'm wearing at the moment. And it was originally published in last autumn's issue of Line magazine. Um, I pronounce it like we Finns do as Line, but Lane magazine might be the way you, you pronounce it, but whatever. But it was this issue um, number six. Uh, heritage and this pattern poet was uh, originally published in this one and it's over here so it's like kind of moody moody pictures beautiful pictures as always in Lane magazine and here are some some more photos and I wasn't expecting it to be as popular as it turned out to be. There are, um, I think, over 200 pro static projects already uh, on Ravelry. And if you uh, search for the Poet Sweater hashtag on Instagram, there are so many beautiful pictures of already finished um, poets. But I've been asking uh, asked about... Um, to, host a poet knit along and yeah it's finally started and like I said it's the first knit along I'm ever hosting so this is quite exciting for me um, like that so the knit along starts today it's the April 18th uh, 2019 and it will run for two months um, until until June 23rd, um, it's a Sunday, it's midsummer in Finland, so it's a long weekend if you're still uh, struggling to finish your your sweater, so there's there's the long weekend to, to work on your project. And I started um, a separate Ravelry thread in my Ravelry group, so there's a discussion topic called Poet Kal, so Poet Knit Along. And you can join there for all the chatter and, and talk about your yarn choices or <clears throat> uh, if you get stuck on the pattern, there's going to be a lot of people, um, myself included, who can help you get, get forward with the pattern. And um, what else? What else? Um, there's also another um, topic called... Um, Poet and it along FO, so finished objects, uh, where you can post photos of your finished uh, poet sweaters. So for the knit along, you can either start a new poet project or finish um, a project that um, you have already started. So both of those qualify for the knit along and and what else? Yeah, prizes. <laughs> That's probably the thing that you're most interested about. The first prize goes to a person who has finished their uh, poet um, pullover during the time of the knit along um, and has posted a photo of it into the separate thread that I just mentioned, the thread about the uh, the uh, poet, poet FOs, um, and that's going to be a 30 euros um, gift card to Lankakalpa Titityu. Uh, Titityu is also the owner of uh, Tukubul, and Tukubul is the yarn that I needed the first 
this uh, original sample of poet pullover with. So you can either buy, buy 30 euros worth of tupu wool or anything else they have um, in, in their shop. And uh, Langa Kalpa Titi even though it's a Finnish yarn shop, they ship worldwide. So the competition um, or the cal um, is open to everybody. So not just uh, people from Finland, but, but overseas as well. And there's a second category as well. Um, you can win a second prize by uh, showing your uh, poet call process um, on Instagram. And if you share more photos, then you get more chances to win. So from the whole um, poet call hashtag, um, all the, all the Photos that have been shared with the um, poet Carl hashtag on Instagram. Uh, I will pick one winner who will get um, from Lane Magazine their um, the my knitting notes journal. This is my copy. This is the old one, but they have a new uh, light beige, light light brown cover on the knitting journal, which I think it matches perfectly um, the original poet sweater, so it's kind of the same color as as this um, Tukuvul Runo, which is the um, yarn that I used for the original sample, so that's really fitting. So um, the winner of the poet call hashtag section uh, category will, will get the My Knitting Notes journal as well as a um, set of the, the um, Lane magazine's new pins. So there are four, four pins. This is just one of them, but I only have one. But they have a whole set of, of the pins. And um, they are really, really pretty. So if you share a photo on Instagram of your process with the poet, uh, pullover during the call and use um, the hashtag poet, poet call, then you are in the running um, for winning uh, the, the My Knitting Nose journal and the set of the four Lane Magazine pins. Um, those are the prizes uh, and the, the categories to win the prizes. Um, I forgot to say about Instagram that you have to have your Instagram um, account open, um, like not not a private because that I can't I can't see the the pictures that are private. So if you are sharing pictures um, on Instagram, remember to set it set your account for public at least at the end of the call so I can I can see your photos and and you get the chance to win the win the prize. Um, one more thing uh, I'm gonna be taking part of the knit along myself but I'm not really the type of person who um, has the mindset that I, I can knit the same pattern twice. Um, so I've been thinking about what I'm gonna be making during the call. Um, and after a long, long thought, I decided to start another poet pullover, but not the same one as this. But I'm gonna be making a poet mohair poet pullover, and I'm gonna be making it with knitting for olives. Um, these are uh, their soft silk mohair, and this is their basic merino. Uh, base and the colorway for the merino is um, oatmeal and this is called linen and I'm gonna be holding them together and because these two together is thicker than just one strand of tuku wool fingering the gauge is of course different so I can't use the same pattern so I have recalculated the whole uh, pattern um, for mohair and I'm gonna be knitting a mohair version of 
of the point pullover so it's gonna be look it's gonna look like this this is my little swatch that I made and it's so amazingly soft um, starting to look like this and I actually I already took a sneaky peek cast on this morning so this is uh, what I have done so these are only the first two rows um, of the, the color so it's top down as well as like like this one um, I'm still looking for a couple of test knitters for the mohair version of point pullovers um, I have written the pattern already but um, as I'm knitting my sample at the same time as I'm um, taking part of the, the knit along um, I don't have a sample to show but I'm still looking for a couple of test knitters so if you are interested in knitting the mohair version of point pullover during the call as a test knit for me um, send me a message um, I'm mostly looking uh, test knitters for the largest sizes so XL and 2XL but if you want to make uh, size medium or large that's also okay I already have enough test knitters for the two smallest sizes so um, XS and S um, is no longer available for the test knit but the largest sizes are so if you are interested in test knitting a mohair poet during the call uh, for me so um, the mohair poets are also eligible for all the prices so um, just let me know if, you, if that's something that you're interested in doing um, one more thing about the mohair pullover, it has a, a higher neckline, the, the original poet has quite like a boat, boat neck, quite wide neck, so it's gonna have a wide, um, higher neck uh, and it has full length sleeves, so that's the, that's the difference compared to this one and of course it's a bit thicker because, because of the one strand of mohair. But I'm really looking forward to this knit along and um, looking forward to see what your, you guys are going to be making. And yeah, I think that's everything for now. I, I will be um, making more videos during the call to talk about uh, my process and your process and, and if there are uh, some questions uh, that you have been asking or... or anything else that comes to mind um, yeah I'll, I'll be talking about those things as well one more thing um, I don't have a name for the mo mohair poet yet I don't think poet mohair version is that poetic so um, I've been trying to think for a name for this one um, the original poet this one um, I named it Poet because um, of the colorway of Tuku wool that I chose for it. Um, the name of the colorway is called Runo, uh, which means uh, a poem in Finnish. And that's why I started calling this pullover as Poet. Um, but like Mohair Poet or, or Poet Mohair version is... And I don't like that name, so I mean trying to trying to think um, a fitting name for this one and one of the ideas that I've been playing around with has been uh, a, a dreamy poet but I think it's a bit clumsy so I don't really like that uh, I think my favorite um, name at the moment is poetry uh, but if you have a good idea what this could be called uh, let me know um, I'm really interested in hearing about your ideas so if you have a really really good name for the Moher poet pullover uh, drop me a line but yeah let's start knitting um, 
uh, we have Easter break here in Finland, so we have uh, Friday and Monday off, so there's plenty of time to knit and eat chocolate and so on. But uh, wherever you are, um, the weekend is coming, so it's perfect time to cast on for your poet pullover. And check in into the Ravelry group um, to see all the all the all this information that I talked about uh, written written down and see what everybody else is making. Have fun time knitting. I can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs>